Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today is the start of a brand new project video series that I'm doing this year where I'm focusing on reading the book series that I am currently in the middle of and trying to decrease the number of series that I have in progress and I'm not caught up with. I'll be honest, I've been thinking about this for a while. Last year, I saw my friend Mara from Books Like Whoa do this, where she actually looked at all of her series. I've seen other people do this, and I was resisting because I knew I was going to be in the middle of so many series and have so many more on my TBR, but I finally caved and decided to go look at those statistics and come up with a action plan for trying to make some progress on this. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I found when I went and recorded all of the series that I'm in the middle of, some of my plans to start working on that, and the first round of books going on my TBR to read down the number of series I have in progress. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Should be fun. So I now have a part of my reading spreadsheet where I am tracking series that I have in progress. And the first thing that I had to do was kind of go through my entire TBR and recently read books. Is it possible I've missed a couple of things? Yes, maybe. But I feel like I did a pretty good job of getting everything. So what's in this spreadsheet is series I'm caught up on that I am planning to continue reading. So this is going to be series where I have read all of the books that have come out so far and I'm waiting on future books. The series is not yet complete, but I am currently caught up. So we have some of those. We have series that I am currently in progress with, but have not caught up. So I have started the series. I've read at least the first book in the series, but I'm not caught up or finished. That's a category. Then we have all the series on my TBR. These are series that I haven't actually started reading yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I own books from and intend to start at some point. Okay, so those are those are the different buckets of things. Here's what I didn't put on this. I didn't put very many romance series when the series is companion novels. There are a couple of exceptions to this things where there are lengthy series that I'm particularly trying to finish, where I, I have a, a an idea of wanting to complete a series in mind or specifically target getting to a romance series. I have put it on the list, but in the case where things are just companion novels and I may or may not read all of the books, those are not on this list. I probably should add a few more of the romance series that I have going, but not not everything is is on there and we have enough to work with as you will see. So I knew, I knew that this is why I didn't want to do this because I knew this number was going to be freaking high. I read so much fantasy and romance and those tend to not be standalones. They tend to be books in series. And because of that, I am in the middle of a lot of series. The other thing that's not on this spreadsheet is series that I don't intend to continue with, which is a, a fair number because there are definitely books where I pick up the first book, I like it or I don't like it and I'm like oh it was fine I don't care enough to continue on so they're not on here series that I've decided not to continue with but let's take a look at where we're at okay the number of series that I am currently reading but I'm caught up with where I've read all the books that have come out so far is 28 so 28 series that I am reading and I've read everything that's come out in that series which is already not a tiny number but you know we're doing okay the number of series that I have in progress, so this is a series where I have started them, but I'm not caught up, is 88. 88. I am reading 88 series that I'm not caught up on. That's a lot. That's a lot. And then on my TBR, I have an additional 87. <sighs> So, so in total, what I didn't, I didn't do this math. I should do this math. How many series am I reading? Okay, hold on. Okay, so in total, I am currently reading or have on my TBR 203 series. It's so many. It's so many. So here's the thing. I really want to decrease this number. I'm not sure what a realistic goal for me is because in terms of in-progress series, we're starting with 
88. So I feel like if by the end of the year I could get this number down to like 70, 60, we'd be doing great. We'd, we'd be doing great. I would still have a lot of series to read, but we'd be making some sub substantial progress. So I'm going to say that by the end of the year, my goal is to have less than 70 series that I am in progress with and not caught up on. Okay, I feel like that's a very achievable goal. Now you've seen some of what I'm doing for this because I do have some series that are on my challenge TBR for the year. There's 10 series and I'll show them to you here, but there's 10 book series that are on my challenge TBR for the year that I want to complete. So that alone will help drop this number a little bit if I actually complete all of those. But what I thought was interesting is that I went in and looked at okay, for all, for a bunch of these series, how many books do I still need to read in each series? So this may be as many as like 15 and as little as one. So what's, there, there's a wide range here, but as it turns out, there are 37 of them where I only need to read one book to be caught up or finished, like to either finish the series or be caught up, which is kind of a lot. So if I did like all 37 of those, we would be well under 70 by the end of the year. I don't know that that's going to happen, but my goal is to start by targeting the series where I only have one book to read and then I'm done or I'm caught up. Okay. This seemed like a good way to go. So here's what we're going to do. So in an effort to move the needle on this, I, in conjunction with my patrons, have selected 15 of those books where I only need to read one to work on in the next few months and see if I can finish those and get those series kind of knocked out or up to date. So this is going to be kind of a general TBR that I'm going to pull from here and there and we'll see, we'll see how this goes, we'll see how long this takes me, but I think it'll be an interesting project. So what I did for this is there were a few books that I knew I was going to be reading soon anyway because they're books I have for review or books that I was meaning to get to, but then there were a bunch of them that I was like, which of these should I choose? So I picked 25 of these, threw them into a poll, and then to ask my patrons to vote on which ones they most wanted to see me tackle. So there are 15 books going on this TBR, four of them I've selected for myself, and 11 of them are the top most voted on books that my patrons picked for me to complete these series. So let's talk about what books I'm going to be attempting to read in the next few months. Start with the four that I picked for myself. Three of these are books that I have for review in the near future that I already planned to pick up. And one of them is just something I've been meaning to read for a while, and it's very short, so I thought it would be a useful one to put on here. So that one is A Taste of Honey by Kaya Shante Wilson. I actually accidentally talked about this in a video where I meant to talk about the first book in the series, and then I was like, I need to just read the second one because I loved the first one. This is the second novella in a sci fantasy series. I think they're companion novellas and I really liked the first one, so I want to read that. I am also going to be reading The Atlas Complex by Olivia Blake. I was sent a copy from Tor. I have this for review, and once I finish this, I will have completed this series, so I won't just be caught up. I'll be done, which is exciting, and I enjoyed the first two books, so this is kind of dark academia fantasy, which... I enjoy. Another series finisher is The Angel of Indian Lake by Stephen Graham Jones. This is the third book in his indigenous slasher trilogy following Jade, and I really loved books one and two. I plan to read this soon, and I was sent a copy for review from Saga, so thank you to them. And then the final series finisher that I have for review, this one from Penguin Teen, is The Cursed Rose by Leslie Vetter. This is the third book in a YA fantasy trilogy that I've been enjoying, which is sort of like Indiana Jones meets a gender-flipped Sleeping Beauty retelling, and I really enjoy it. So those are the four books that I put on my TBR for myself. Next, let's take a look at the 11 books that my patrons voted on. And I guess I should clarify, I did not tell them in the poll which book I still needed to read. I just told them the series title. So they don't necessarily know what book was missing. And in some cases, these are like companion novels, but I'm considering them as part of the series like the first one. I need to read The Narrow Road Between Desires by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a new novella that is part of the King Killer Chronicles, which is one of my favorite series, and I've been wanting a reason to read this and be once again caught up on the series because God knows when we're gonna get book three, the, the full-length book. This is a companion novella, so it is not directly in line with it. 
It is a reimagining of The Lightning Tree, a standalone story set in that universe. So I'm going to be reading that, which I'm excited for. Next, we have Painted Devils by Margaret Owen, the sequel to The Little Thieves. I read book one last year and really enjoyed it, and I've wanted to catch up. I was gifted a copy of book two, so, so I think I'm going to keep going. The first one was really good, YA fantasy that's doing some really interesting things, and I think lightly retelling the goose girl, but yeah, it's kind of dark and I, I liked the first one. The Brides of High Hill by Nevo. I have a neck alley arc of this. It doesn't officially even come out till May, so I could say I'm caught up, but I'm saying I'm not because I have the next book in this novella series. This is book five, I think, in the Singing Hills cycle. I love all of them. They're so great. I don't really know what's going to happen in this one, but I'm excited to read it. I love Nevo. She's one of my favorites. The next series is The First Law by Joe Abercrombie, and what I need to read is The Great Change and Other Lies, which is a little short story collection in a special edition that I have and have not yet read, so I'm going to be picking that up, which is exciting. Try to keep it in very good condition. I am finally going to be reading Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is also on my series TBR for the year, so that'll help finish that. I liked Six of Crows and I've been meaning to read this forever. I've been spoiled on it because I did read King of Scars, but I kind of knew and I don't mind the spoilers so much, but I do need to go ahead and finish this up. So that's going on the list. Then in the world of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, I have a companion novella that I have not yet read. This is Night of Cake and Puppets. I've had this on my TBR for so long. I was gifted this several years ago and have not read it. It's like, it looks like it's going to be pretty quick to read. It's mixed media. It looks cute. So we're going to pick that up. Then I'm going to be reading Heroes of the Water Monster by Brian Young. That'll catch me up on this middle grade series. I don't know if there's going to be more in it or if this is the finale. I'm really unsure, but really loved book one. This is a middle grade series based on indigenous mythology. Again, book one was fantastic, so I'm excited to pick up book two. Cushiel's Avatar by Jacqueline Carey. I know that technically there are more books in the series, but as of right now, I only have up through book three, the original trilogy on my TBR. I may at some point decide that I want to continue on with the series, but for now, this is how far I plan to get. And I have one book left to read, so very excited about that. I did get these from Tor last year. The Faithless by C.L. Clark. This one I have on audio. It's the second book in like a darker queer fantasy series. I liked book one pretty well and I'm interested to see how she does with book two, so I'm going to pick that one up. Then finishing off the main Bridgerton series, I'm going to read On the Way to the Wedding. This is Gregory's Story by Julia Quinn. I've been slowly making my way through these. I do also have some of the prequels, but this is the end of the main series, so I want to go ahead and knock that out. And lastly, I'm going to be reading Anna Kay Away by Jenny Lee, which is the sequel to Anna Kay. Anna Kay is a contemporary retelling of Anna Karenina, and I quite liked it, and I'm curious to see what she does with book two. So those are the 15 series that I'm going to be working on getting up to date with or completing in the next few months. Thank you to patrons for helping me pick which ones to tackle. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Once I have finished all of these, I'll do kind of a check-in video, let you know how things go, where my numbers are at, what progress we've made, and then decide on whatever the next TBR would be for the next few months. So hopefully this is interesting for people. I'll do check-in videos a few times throughout the year as I'm able to get through these. I don't know how long it's going to take me to read all 15 of these, but we'll see. And uh, you will see me talk about this again when we get there. So those are most of the books. There's a few of them I just have digitally, but I will be working on them. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, let me know how you approach series. Are you aware of how many series you're in the middle of? Is this something you track or are you like, God, I don't want to know? because that's how I felt for quite a while. How do you approach this and how many series are you comfortable being in the middle of? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, it always helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.